Saitama Battlegrounds has its fair share of exploiters, as you might have noticed. I recently encountered a pair of friends that were flying and speeding all over the place and decided to humiliate them. Get ready for some S-tier level gaslighting and gameplay. This guy came up to me and attacked, so I fought back. I didn't get the entire fight in this clip, but he is speed hacking, as you can clearly see. He's already pissed off. I swear every exploiter is like this. Whenever you get in an altercation with an exploiter, always gaslight them and make them more angry. Never let yourself get mad. You see, here he is trying to make me mad. I don't fall for this stupid shit, I simply dance back. He ends up using rage mode, and of course he's moving while it's being used. I turned on my brain and changed to the Saitama move set. My best option against hackers like this is death counter, since they can't fly away from it or anything. Guaranteed instant death. Now that I have it ready, I need to get him to come to me. Time for some antagonization. Say hello to this hacker's hacker companion. Luckily, I prepared myself for an altercation. Off we go now. Too bad flying to Jupiter won't save you from death. Kill success. More antagonization. Attacking me now, are you? I should have expected this, honestly. I started filling up the ultimate bar so I could use death counter again, but the hacker attacked. I was just going to let them kill me because I thought they still had their script on but soon I realized that they didn't have anything active. Time for a good old-fashioned beating. I thought I landed a punch here, but I didn't. My mistake. I was low when the fight started. If they were decent at all, they could have easily beaten me. I wanted to beat both of them with no scripts, but their love for each other is too strong. I wish I got the other kid. It's whatever, though. This child still hasn't learned their lesson. He chooses to attack, but still has his speed script activated.
I've met way too many hackers in my time on Roblox. I know all of their excuses and tactics, I think. Now I begin to use my main gaslighting tactic, claiming that I won the fight I lost, but technically won because the guy was cheating. If you use your words correctly, you can never get manipulated. Every time the 1v1 situation gets interrupted, I claim my rightful victory. Look at how smoothly I handle these buffoons. I thought they were playing fair for a minute. Never trust a hacker. Just a reminder, when someone is spamming easy in chat, they are not spamming it because they beat you easily. They had a decent challenge or issue with you and ended up coming through. Just know that you ticked them off in some way. This guy is so salty to the point where he now tries to throw me off the map every time I spawn in. This actually went so much better than I thought it would. He wants to 1v1 with no hacks. I gladly accept the offer. This beating was much worse than the first one he got. I don't think a beatdown this bad is even legal. I think he's gonna need to call life insurance after that. 